So Peloton, the company that has been all of the craze, especially since the start of this quarantine, it's basically where you get the bike, you pay for the monthly membership, and you should have everything that you need at your fingertips to stay fit at home. Well, me personally, I couldn't drop the 2,500 for a bike and then just paying the 40 bucks a month for the app. But luckily enough, they gave out a 90 day free trial for their workout app. So I said, you know what? Let me take a look at it. Let me see if it's worth it. And maybe I might drop the cash to buy the bike sometime soon. So I wanted to share my thoughts and similar to the Fitbit video I made a couple weeks back, I'll link it right here. I wanted to rate the Peloton app on three specific categories on ease of use, workout difficulty, and special features. And then at the end of the day, let you know this is a fitness app worth downloading. To get right into it, ease of use. I would definitely say the Peloton is pretty easy to use and pretty straightforward. You have, it's like kind of like a tab model where your first tab is your feature tab where you have the live and upcoming workouts so you can see what's going on right now and what you can be looking forward to in the next 30 minutes. But then they also have recommended workouts based off of your workout history and your preferences that you put in for your profile. And then the following tabs include challenges that you can join. They also have classes that range from everything from strength to cardio to yoga to meditation. They have the whole thing for you. They also have a calendar schedule that you could see what workouts are coming out the next week. So definitely very simple to use. Really to start a workout it's as simple as clicking one and then pressing start and you're good to go so a solid five out of five for ease of use for the second category workout difficulty i'll be honest with you no lie peloton kicked my ass like the Fitbit app that I did a review on was okay and I got a little bit of a good heart rate increase, but this Peloton app, those instructors are no joke. Like the boot camp was, I think the guy's name is Andy. I'll put his face right here. That man knows how to work your legs. And what I really love was the variety of the different workout classes that you can do and the variety of instructors. If you wanted to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can go with the challenging instructor or you can maybe tailor it back with somebody who is a little bit less intense, but it was just good to be able to choose that. I would definitely say the workout difficulty was very very challenging now that's not to scare you to say no don't do it what I would say is just look at the ratings of the workouts before you do them if you see it anything like 8.5 and up it's got to be tough however the one thing that I would say that I guess I wasn't a big fan of was the fact that like I still feel like it was a little bit limited at least for the workouts that I was doing I feel like if I had their bike or their treadmill I'll get a full workout in because I think that's where most of the energy is put anyway but it was just still cool that they had workouts throughout the week that you can do that can challenge you get your heart rate up you know make you feel gassed and make you feel like you had a good workout so in my opinion I would give it a solid 4.5 out of 5. And for category number three is special features. I definitely think Peloton hit it out of the park with this one, which is to be expected. I would first say their collections tab on their app is really neat. It basically groups together classes and workouts and they kind of target it towards certain communities and cultures. So they have a Peloton Pride, Black History Month, it was just really cool to see that they really focus on that community and especially if you have different interests like dance cardio or even post and prenatal workouts. Another special feature of course is the actual physical attachments like the bike, the treadmill, uh, dumbbell weights as well as the shoes. They give you a full on experience where you really do have a gym in your home. And I think that whole experience and how it's all weaved together where you could take classes, do the workout, you can get on the bike, hop off, do a workout and then put it back on. It's just a very immersive experience and I think a lot of people would really love that. And that really leads to the ultimate special feature was the whole fact that you can do live classes. This is huge because I think accountability and doing workouts with somebody really does play a big factor into how consistent and how much of a habit that working out becomes. So the fact that you can do those workouts live with the instructor, they're shouting out your name, they're wishing you a happy birthday, they're congratulating you on milestones, or if you support a specific Peloton instructor and you're part of like their tribe, it just was really cool to see that community. And most of the workouts I did weren't live, but the fact that I was able to kind of see them do a live made me feel like I was in the zone when I was working out with other people. So ultimately, I would give it a five out of five for special features. Now the ultimate question, do I recommend this as your ultimate fitness app to download? It depends. I think it's a better value if you use their equipment, so their treadmill or their bike. And I say that because that is like their main bread and butter, that is what they're known for, and I think that the app is served better with that. Now don't get me wrong, the 90 day trial was awesome. I love the workouts, I think the instructors were great. I just think that if you're gonna be paying $40 a month for the membership, 
it's like you might as well just bought the bike and paying the membership so you can take the most classes so if you plan on getting their bike or their treadmill by all means download the app and have fun for me after my trial ends i don't think i will be using the peloton app anymore but hey peloton you can convince me otherwise if you let me uh review your bike so that wraps up my review question of the day do you have a peloton bike or treadmill do you like it do you not like it let me know in the comments below i hope this video was helpful if it was go ahead and compile that like button subscribe if you haven't already as always stay healthy stay productive and you already know embrace the hype Woo!